Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things I'd like to mention in the description box. Uh, if you'd like to enter for a free personal reading, details are below how to enter my giveaway. I do give away personal readings each month. Also below in the description box, personal reading information, and um, there will be an extended reading link in the description box and in my comments of this video if you'd like to check it out. In the extended, I will look at the next three to four weeks energy moving forward from this reading. I treat it like a personal reading, and uh, I will also look at future love energy. So whether um, it's this person on your mind or new love, we will see what love brings. So with that, Taurus, let's get started. Let's see what the energy is here for you. Taurus pulling this from the Energy Oracle deck. Okay, interesting. Number 13 is financial uh, constraints. Uh, one and three is four. Let's see. Can also talk about stability. You have, look at that, beautiful. Blossoming abundance, number three. Now, you can Google the angel numbers here, or you may see um, synchronicities of these numbers, which will validate the messages. We also have here, okay, we have, interesting, because we have three, four, and five, attachment, all right? And let's see what else we have. And we have the thinking woman, number 47, which is 11. So three, four, five, and, and one, um, you know, 11 or two could be numbers that you are seeing here, okay? Let's see how this relates to your reading. <clears throat> Definitely feel here, um, feels like someone could be thinking about you or you have some someone on your mind and um, there's definitely an attachment here, maybe feeling like um, you're not getting enough in a situation, feeling lack there with financial constraints. Now that could be um, a factor here in your reading. So let's pull the energy here. I'm going to pull your energy, the mutual energy, your person's energy. We'll clarify what's needed and then we will <clears throat> get some love messages from your person. Okay, so first card that came out here was a King of Pentacles. Okay, Four of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Definitely picking up your energy here, Taurus, um, with um, all these Pentacles here, okay? So I feel like, Taurus, um, you may be feeling unsure about a situation here with someone here, okay? I feel like they're, this person that's on your mind, you're definitely feeling attached. All right, oh, interesting. Look at this. We got the thinking man here as well, okay? So it's not only that you are thinking about this person, but this person is thinking about you. And it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. So I sense here, Taurus, that you may be feeling like um, there's something lacking here with this person. Now, it could be somebody is having some sort of financial constraint here, but this is an energy here of lack. But what's interesting is we have blossom abundance here in the middle. I feel like, um, Taurus, this could signify that you're just not seeing the growth here in a connection, but I'm also sensing here this, there's something here that's about to blossom as well. Okay, something that is about to grow. Now, you have here the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So some of you may be very focused on your money, um, but this also can be around growth and stability here within a connection or relationship. So you may be really thinking about this person, thinking about the time you've spent with this person, you know, what you've put into this connection here. Um, but it almost feels like with the Four of Cups here and the Knight of Pentacles, you're not seeing a lot of movement or change is what I'm sensing here, all right? Some of you could be waiting for some communication from this person. I'm getting that as well. We have um, the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. 
I feel like some of you, you may be feeling like things aren't maybe moving forward. Maybe there is people getting in the way here, competition. Um, I'm going to say uh, there could also be some sort of conflict. There may be something that happened between you and this person. We have the Ace of Pentacles here as well, okay? Well, you know, bottom line here, I feel like you're just not seeing a whole lot of movement, right? Right now, it doesn't feel like things are going smoothly or things are moving, you know, to a more solid place with this person, right? Let's see what's in your person's energy. Show Taurus what's in their person's energy. Please show Taurus what's in their person's energy. Okay, we've got the seven of wands, right? Okay, could be some sort of block. Interesting, five of pentacles. The justice, Libra energy. You could be dealing uh, with a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you have the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. Well, that's a good sign because we have five and six, um, and we have the three here, and you have the four of Pentacles. Okay. Well, I feel like there has been some sort of block here, Taurus, okay? That's why you're not seeing a whole lot of effort from this person here. This could be somebody um, who could be very guarded. They could be a bit insecure here. Five of Pentacles, too, is also kind of my insecure energy. Um, but I, I feel like there is something blocking um, this connection. Now, it could be that this person does have some money issues, or maybe they're very focused on career and money. But what's nice here, you have Justice, and you also have the Six of Pentacles, so I sense here that your person, I do feel like your person wants to fix things here, okay? I feel like this person is open to, um, now it may not be fixing, okay? It may just be that this person, you know, there may be something here they're needing to be honest about, okay? They need to um, open up more, give more. It's going to be different for everyone because, you know, everybody's in a different place. But we have the wheel here and we have the three of pentacles. So I feel like there's an energy here of you and this person being able to work things out, okay? So I feel like there is something here about this person that they want to give to you, Taurus. So we're going to clarify. We'll go back to that. <clears throat> then we'll clarify. <coughs> I'm so sorry. My allergies are driving me nuts. I picked up the cards and, and two cards came out here. Sagittarius energy here and uh, the Eight of Wands. So I feel like, and as I said, we had here the Three of Pentacles. I feel like there, um, this person is coming towards you is what I'm seeing here. Some of you, this could be a reconciliation. Some of you, this could be somebody that um, maybe there's been some time where you've just been very patient with this person. Now, if this is somebody, um, you know, that there is separation or distance, uh, that could be right. This person wanting to fix something here, right? Maybe be honest about something, but let's see what else comes out here. Let's get the mutual energy here between Taurus and their person. Neutral energy here between Taurus and their person. Okay, Scorpio energy. Knight of Swords. Okay, I feel like this person's coming towards you with communication. Yeah, Three of Wands. Your ship's coming in. Six of Swords. All right, yeah. So I feel like, Taurus, there's an energy. I feel like this person is coming towards you. Now, some of you, there could actually be some travel distance here between you and this person. It doesn't have to be. But it almost feels like there is change, transformation. Now, for some of you, this could be something significant that has happened in this person's life that is getting things moving, getting this person towards you. Now, whether, you know, maybe they're going through a transformation in their life, but some of you, this could just be about a new beginning. This person coming towards you with communication all right they're going this way they're going towards you is what I'm seeing here let's see what's on the bottom of the deck okay 
Well, the, you know, we, we talked about the thinking man and woman. Look at this. This person's been struggling, right? They've been struggling. They've been trying to find their way towards you is what I'm getting there. Some of you may be trying to find a solution to a situation. And look at this. You have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So this is someone I do feel like this person has love for you. I do feel like, you know, they're very hopeful here in the situation. Uh, you do have the Ace of Swords here as well. So I, I'm picking up here, look at that, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, some of you, this is a reconciliation. Some of you, this is just, you know, somebody, this person coming towards you with communication after some time has passed. You got the Ace of Wands here, okay? So opportunity here for growth. Someone coming towards you, um, you know, can be masculine energy there. Um, but, you know, that may not resonate. It could be male or female. But somebody here, um, I feel, is coming towards you. There was something blocking this person coming, ooh, this person coming towards you. So let's um, clarify your, uh, your person's energy. And see what's going on. See if we can get some more details about this. And then I'm going to pull some more cards here in the mutual energy. So please show uh, Taurus what was blocking the situation here between uh, Taurus and this person. Or what blocks have been in the way that has caused um, some constraint on this connection. Okay. Oh, wow. Gemini energy here. All right. Yeah, it feels, um, definitely feels here. Um, some of you, this could be another person involved here. Okay. There could have been something unknown here in your situ in the situation. Um, now, this is only if you you know of a third party here. I feel like there could be a third party here with the lovers. There may have been a choice. This person may be may have been giving to another connection. We saw the five of wands earlier, so like I said, there could have been competition here, and this could be somebody who uh, wasn't giving a whole lot to you because they were giving to someone else. Now it can just be somebody close to their heart. It doesn't have to be a lover. I will say for a lot of you, it will be, um, but it can be like a loved one, all right? Like a family member, a friend or something like that. Now you got the two of wands. So this is someone I feel the block here is that they hadn't made a decision. What's interesting in your energy is the four of cups. So you may have had some inclination that this person may have had other offers, right? Or somebody else around them. Now that could be why justice is here, okay? Let's see why justice is here. And then I'll clarify the Six of Pentacles because this may show me here why, you know, about this person giving to this connection. Why is the justice card here, please? Why is the justice card here, please? Okay, yeah, yeah, more and more I'm picking up third party energy here. You've got the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is someone who, right, the constraint here, right? I, I feel like this is not really around money now that I look at it more. I feel like this is someone who, you know, you felt that you weren't getting enough from this connection or this is someone who hasn't been giving to this connection and the justice is here because this is someone who knows that they have to make things right here that's what was blocking here some of you it could have been a karmic relationship but you have uh, the seven of swords and the five of pentacles. What was lacking here is this person wasn't honest with you. This person wasn't telling you the truth about a situation. Uh, you got the emperor, Aries energy, and you have the three of cups. So now, as I said, I feel like this is someone who is planning right their next move here okay so i feel like it's around reconciliation making things right or being honest with you taurus because i feel like this is someone who was not honest with you all right we got the four of wands yeah look at that four of wands and the five of swords now this could also be somebody who was in a relationship 
um, when you met this person and this was someone who maybe wasn't honest and upfront with you from the beginning, but let's see, um, let's see, um, and that could be, right, there could be an ending here, right, with this relationship or whoever this person was and now this person is coming towards you. Now, let's see, why is Mercury retrogrades coming up? depending on when you watch this reading. So definitely really can be somebody here returning. Um, why is, I'm gonna see why the Five of Pentacles is here first. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles, uh, Taurus energy, the Hierophant, your energy. Knight of Pentacles, wow, and the Ten of Pentacles. Very interesting. Ten of Swords. I almost feel like with this Ten of Swords that um, this person is seeing things differently. Maybe this person in the past didn't value you right. Um, they maybe made the wrong choices here in your situation. But I almost feel like this is someone now who is hoping for a new beginning, is hoping um, that things can change. I always see crows as change. Um, in my life in general, when crows come around, I know there's something pretty significant that is changing, all right? And you may experience that as well. Um, but you have here the Queen of uh, Pentacles, the Hierophant, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone, right? They didn't put in the work or the effort because they were giving their energy to someone else right and like I said doesn't have to be another lover only if you know that or another relationship um, could be a loved one as well and some of you this could be unknown to you here with the high priestess this could have been a secret as well but I feel like this person I almost feel like this the situation with that person uh, ended because now they're rushing towards you is the energy I get and they're seeing things from a different perspective some of you, I feel like maybe they had to go through a karmic situation or some sort of karma here to realize your worth is what I'm getting, okay? Ten of Swords, yeah, look at that. Ten of Swords and the Justice. This is someone wanting to make things right. Let's see why the Six of Pentacles is here, please. Why is the Six of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Oh, okay. We've got a lot of cards here. We'll see what we'll see what came up. Yeah, look at that. Hangman. Okay, so I feel like they um, have released some karma here. Okay, I um, with the hangman, it can be about releasing karma, and now they're seeing things from a different perspective. This could be someone too who's going through an awakening. Right, the light is you know it's like the light bulb turns on from for this person. You have here on uh, the nine of wands the five of cups and the two of swords. Look at that. Yeah, this person, they're so up in their head. They have regrets about what has happened. You know, the four of wands, whether they're in a relationship or right, they didn't make the right choices around their relationships. Uh, nine of wands, they don't want to give up, but they're so conflicted here. Okay, so, so conflicted. But they, now they're seeing things from a different perspective, as I said. Look at that. Hangman, Six of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. And we have the King of Pentacles up here again. Now, this is someone who is starting to see things differently. They're reflecting on the past. They're thinking about the good times with you. And I feel like they're seeing the stability here in this connection really shows it strong here with the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. So this person, I feel they don't want to let you go. You have the world card here. They want things to change. And I feel like this could be, right, 
a wish come true here because you got the Knight of Cups and you have the Nine of Cups here as well. Okay, so this person doesn't want to let things go here in this connection. It's always your choice here, Taurus. We'll see more in the um, extended what their intentions and all of that is. So I'm going to pull just four more cards here in the... Maybe I'll just pull a card uh, for each of these. I just kind of go how uh, spirit guides me. That's why you will notice in my readings that, um, you know, they're not always the same. And that's because I go how spirit guides me. So I'm going to pull one card in your energy. Oh, look at that. Six of Cups. Your soulmate here, all right? Your soulmate here. So you may be thinking a lot about the memories that, that the two of you have shared. Definitely a soulmate connection there. Okay, Eight of Swords. It's so on point here because you have the thinking man and the woman here, okay? And I feel like both of you are thinking, look at that. I feel like both of you are thinking about the stability here of this connection. Um, and I feel like there's an indication here that there's something here that's about to uh, change or gain some momentum here in this connection. Let's get one card here for your person's side, all right? Okay, we have the lovers. I'm covering up the naked bodies, just so you know, <laughs> because YouTube has put some restrictions on uh, the cards. It's just crazy, I won't say any more than that, but you got the lovers here, Gemini energy here, showing up again two times here. Some of you, this is a twin flame connection. Um, and I feel like there's a very strong bond here between you and this person. You know, I always say with the lovers, it's that energy that, you know, both you and this person impact each other's lives in some sort of way where you know it's just not, you know, any ordinary person, right? I'm hearing that song, No Ordinary Love. Um, you have here the Knight of Wands as well. So this uh, person here, I feel, is coming towards you, right? Um, they, they have regrets. Um, I see here communication. They don't want to give up on this connection because... They definitely have, there's definitely love here, okay? So they want the romantic opportunity. So I feel soon, uh, Taurus, you're going to hear from this person. So let's uh, get some messages here from your person. What messages do we have from Taurus's person? What are they thinking or feeling or what do they want to say to Taurus? Okay. Interesting. I can't take it anymore. All right. The connection is so strong here. Now, in the extended, I will dive deeper um, into your person, what they're thinking, feeling, their actions, their intentions. We'll get love notes, guidance. Uh, we'll do future love energy as well. And the next three to four weeks. Okay, I don't want to be alone, all right? I feel like this could be someone not knowing, you know, exact timing. I feel like there was some sort of ending with your person. So th that could be why I'm seeing here this person doesn't want to be alone because they're having realizations about you. They've been thinking a lot about you, okay? They can't get you off of their mind type of energy. Let's see what else we have here for Taurus, okay? Oh boy, you are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness, all right? So this could be someone, the regret here could be that they took advantage of your kindness, right? They didn't take care of your heart. All right, yeah, look at that. I am blocked, okay? Now, some of you, if you're dealing with um, someone in a relationship, right, that could have been the block here. Um, but we have here, please do what is best for your heart. You know, this card's been coming out a lot lately. Do what's best for you. So, you know, on a note there, this mean that means that this person cared about you, okay, or cares about you. Now, not all of you um, is this somebody who's leaving a relationship if your person is in a relationship. Um, so that could be why, right? Some of you, this could be someone who is still in a situation, 
but can be an indication that this person may be making the decision to leave that situation. It's going to be different for everybody. Some of you, I do feel like this person ended another situation, but I, I can't promise that that's everybody's situation, okay? Um, just because there's so many out, so many people out there. Okay, yeah, I can't let go of you. I wish I could understand you. Why is it that you love you? Why is it that you love me? I feel like they're they're saying that because what has happened, maybe what has transpired in this connection. Like I said, this may be someone who wasn't upfront or honest with you completely, and so they're really questioning. You know, you know they don't understand how you could still love them after what has happened. So, yeah, why is it that you still love me? So Taurus, I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.